In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the front differential fluid in a Honda Fortrax 300. I'm going to show you the correct Honda fluid to get this done, and I'll put a link in the description box how to buy it off of Amazon. Here's the correct fluid to do the job. You want to make sure it's hypoid gear oil. If you can't find this, you can go to your local auto parts store, and I believe Valvoline sells an equivalent. But you're going to need about six and a half ounces of oil. If you're sitting on your ATV, it's going to be the left side front is going to be the area we're going to be working. And there's two bolts we're going to be dealing with. This is going to be your fill hole right here, and this is your drain hole. Now this drain hole is a 10 millimeter, and the fill hole is going to take a 17 millimeter. So get your oil pan ready, and go ahead and loosen and take out this 10 millimeter. And I'm going to show you a trick when you pull this drain bolt out. So here's a trick I like to do. You know how when you pull drain plugs out and they fall down into your oil pan? Get yourself a magnet, at least this size, if not bigger. You kind of palm it in your hand, and as you turn your drain plugs out, it's actually going to attach itself to your drain plugs, and you'll never lose another drain plug in your pan again. And now go ahead and remove your fill plug. And let the oil drain out completely. When the oil looks to be all drained out, I just give a little shot of fluid through the fill. And then I watch the drain, and when the new fluid flows out, I know all the old fluid is completely gone. And now I'm gonna put the drain plug back in using a stained magnet, kind of holding it down by the drain plug in case it slips out of my fingers. I'll still be able to catch it and it won't fall into the drain pan. And now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it to 18 foot pounds or go about a quarter to a half turn past hand tight. And now go ahead and add six and a half ounces of your gear oil, or it should be about level with the threads right here. If it runs out a little bit, you know you've got it full enough. Before you install your fill cap, clean off this rubber O-ring and clean off the surface on the differential. Now go ahead and reinstall your fill cap and tighten to 20 foot-pounds or about a quarter to a half turn past hand tight. Now wipe off any oil that has gotten onto the frame of your quad and down around the differential. Congratulations on changing your own front differential fluid. You learned a little bit about your ATV, you saved yourself some time and money, and you've added the life of your differential, especially if you're plowing. Hope this video was helpful and thanks for watching.